going to talk about the different types of shoes and how to change them. There are basically three different types of LGB shoes that are available. The ones for the crocodile, in specific, have a small notch in them. However, the crocodile can use the other style of shoe, which does not have the notch in it. And if you note, there's two different types of shoes. And then finally, the most common type of shoe that you will see and use. And I'm going to show you how to change one of these shoes, as well as the crocodile. For the crocodile, it's a very simple process or any other type of locomotive that uses the same style of shoe, is you simply need to remove this screw right here. And then the whole shoe just kind of pulls out and off. When you're changing the shoe, make sure you replace the spring and then it slips into a slot in the little metal brass piece. Then you replace the screw and its little washer. And the shoe should move very freely like that. Okay, now we're going to talk about the more complicated shoe to change. This is a motor block from a GE44, which is the same or is a very common motor block. It's very similar to the one used in the F7 and several other LGB locomotives. This one uses the more contemporary style shoe, which has the spring fits directly in to the shoe. To change this, you would normally have to remove this little retaining clip here. And then the shoe should just pull right out. To replace that, what you need to do is again, push this little retaining clip in. Until it locks. And the retaining clip actually ideally should be just a little below or the spring should just be underneath the retaining clip. get that to fit right you just sort of kind of have to play with it a little bit should look like that you want to repeat this for both shoes And then because I've had a few people ask how the various wires and electrical contacts in the motor, in the bottom of the motor block go. So with the four pin, the two inner pins make contact with the metal strips. The two outer pins 
need to have a space. And the pins just sort of drop in. In this case, I'm also going to put the shoes back in there, or the, uh, the uh, brushes back in place. And all the metal contacts do is provide a connection between the brushes and the little metal pins, thus allowing you to have full power pickup from all four brushes So the brushes need to sit in the center. And once you're done, It should look like that. And then the bottom plate just gets screwed back on.